time. So this is pretty much using a Amazon case study when their organization grows. So you might be wondering, okay, so what's data table? All right, so let me draw a picture. So data table, all right. So as you can see, as the organization grows, it has different uh, departments. It has uh, spread across different continents. It has uh, different business functionalities. So all these means a huge amount of data and every business has every business unit has their own data types all right so it needs to be defined for example i would say amazon retail they could have all the data uh, put into the retail store like it can be the the SKUs or what they call it stock keeping units or if you move into the aws areas so they call it uh, instances or uh, cloud computing resources so it can be how many resources you are using or how much of bandwidth you are using right so all these are data points so you define on your data tables all these data points right so let's get started how you can put together all this data in the bigger designer studio all right so let me jump into the designer studio right over here so once you logged into that go to the data column right over here over here click on the drop down menu add data type all right so as we are talking about the retail store mostly so you're gonna type a label over here so you can just type user information so it can be a customer information then uh, type on the advanced tab right over here so as you have created the amazon sample before and the rule set was amazon because the amazon was not available maybe i've created another one so so that's the rule set uh, i have chosen now so if you click on submit that will uh, create the data type it takes a while but uh, you know like yeah, never mind so once once it's created the data type you can just click on the data type and add the details for an example out the user information it can be the date of birth name place anything you want uh, that for the user all right, so it creates the table in the background. So once it's created, as you can see, the data mo data model came up. So now in the data model field, you need to add the field you need, all right? So I click on the add field that comes up with the name. So you can say user, user, then uh, over here the, the ID, it can be user. Then you can say text single or anything you want. As you can see, fancy attachment, any group or, uh, or any details uh, that you you might want to add so as of now i'm gonna leave as text single then i'm gonna add uh, one more it takes a while because i'm adding for the first time but once your system has been warmed up it doesn't take that much time then you can say data both dob so if you want id is again dob or if you want to make it uh, longer it, you can then you can here add date and time if you want to be specific or you can just make date only if you wish then uh, you can add one more field you can say location okay then over here same location then i would say like text paragraph right because location can be um, it can't be single line it can have the multiple address so you can say text paragraph then I'm gonna add uh, the currency okay uh, let's say price so over here you can ask add the currency option all right so that, that's I would say uh, pretty much uh, you can add all your data under your data model you can add all your uh, all the data models under underneath it all right so once uh, you have added you can also still change if you wish you know um, like this is calculated file read only right so so you can change the settings later on as well so then you can go to the records where it is stored so it is stored as local data storage all right so now you can just go to the data model tab actions refresh and it, it should have been saved by now okay all right cool so that's it guys now it has been the records have been stored on your local so now uh, you might be wondering how you can save all the 
all the all the data models. So whatever the data models you defined on this section, so your data will be inserted from your form, any type of form you'll be creating. So you will be on the next tutorial series, we'll be discussing more about the forms, how it has been created in the background and how the data inserted uh, into into these fields. I, I know you, you, there might be some uh, doubts. Uh, you, you might be asking me how the data model will be used, what are the divisions, uh, what are the org units, what are the implementation only, what are the frameworks. So I, so I, I would recommend uh, that's why I go for the uh, go for the instructor led or or if you're very confident go for the cell paste uh, over there you'll get the tool access so once you do a lot of hands-on you know like you get to know about the tool and you feel the real gist of it you know like once you start practicing more you will understand the more rather than just watching one way video you know so uh, anyways i hope you guys uh, like the video and uh, do subscribe and like um, uh, stay tuned Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next series.